Are you tired of your running plays getting blown up in the backfield? Are you struggling to find success because inside zones can't be cheese like you can in Madden 16? Well, I think I can help you out with some tips and some running plays in Madden 17. All right, so before I get into the specific plays, I have two rules. First, you gotta have a nice running back or it's gonna be tough running. My second is putting offensive linemen at tight end for extra blocking. That is a major, major key. This year, I think the stretch plays and outside zones will be the best running plays this year for quick reads. So we're in the Cardinals playbook and we're gonna use a zone stretch play, zone of stretch. Got David Johnson. I'm gonna be reading the fullback and the edge blocker to see where I have to go. So the wide receiver is gonna motion over. We get a great push up front. The fullback comes right through and it's all about being the corner to the end zone and we get right in. I'm gonna slow-mo it so you can see it clearly without rewinding. I'm watching multiple people on these plays. The outside linebacker's reaction, where the fullback goes, making sure the defensive tackles don't push to the edges, and it's all about reacting to the gap because it will close fast, and we made the right one for the touchdown. Now here we have the same stretch play, just a different formation. It's always good to switch it up on your opponent because this tutorial isn't going to be me dominating the computer in practice mode. This is live head-to-head -head against another opponent so you guys can watch this live in real action. There was a little resistance up front right here, but we slipped through and pulled off a nice spin move right there. And we're getting a huge gain, almost taking 77 yards, but the Ravens have some fast defensive backs. And we get tackled inside the 10. So to slow-mo it for you guys again, we're reading the edge linebacker, we're watching the fullback. He gets a nice chop block, and once you get in space, it's all about your six kills, and we get a nice little spin move right there. So the next play isn't a stretch zone. But I wanted to point out how putting offensive linemen at tight end will help. We're running at Terrell Suggs, who is a 90 overall. He shed that block. He shed that block, yes. But our blocker holds the block long enough to give us time to the edge. A regular, a regular tight end wouldn't have been able to make this block. And just a side note, I wouldn't recommend putting tight ends at receiver for extra blocking every time. You can do it occasionally, but sometimes you have to audible. And your tight end isn't going to get open. So right here, we're moving on to a different head-to-head -head game. And I'm going to show off more stretch plays and how I react to the blocking. On these plays, we're checking what the tight end's doing, what the fullback's doing, and making our correct read. On both of these last two plays, the play is designed to hit the edge, but I cut it inside because the edge got blown up and way too crowded. And it's all about making the right read. Like right here, outside's blown up, and we cut it right at the middle with Le'Veon Bell. Right here, we got Taiwan Jones. Outside's clogged up, and we get to the inside and get a huge gain. For this part of the video, I'm going to be going over the power O plays. I'm putting in my lineman at tackle for extra blocking, like I said. I think in Madden 17, the best running plays this year will be in the single back and I formation. We're going to get to the outside AP and follow the fullback because right there, the left guard was way too slow, but we get a nice gain right there. So let's check it out in slow-mo. So as you see, the left guard that's pulling is way too slow. So we have to bounce to the outside because the linebacker shot the gap. And luckily, the fullback made a nice play. So we got a big gain right there. So right here, the same power O play, just a different formation. Rewind these clips if you have to so you can see how the lineman and fullback attack the defense. This is where your analog stick game will come into play as we go almost untouched with AP. Now everything can go well with the pulling guard and fullback, but other linemen may miss their blocks, so watch out for that. I'm going to slow-mo it. Let's see how the right tackle misses this block. It won't be perfect every time. To make your Madden 17 running game even easier, just use the basic halfback dives. If you have interior linemen with high run block, you can eat. This play is so simple. Just move your analog, analog stick away from defensive tackles and gain yards. Again, it's real simple. I'm just taking Le'Veon Bell and moving him away from the opposite way the defensive line goes. The Titans have one of the best right ends in the game. I want to stay away from them. And I almost go untouched right here into the end zone and we get stopped at the one. Okay, so inside zones were king in Madden 16, right? But they're not as OP this year. They're not. They're still good. I mean, I played a bunch of games the past two days with it, but you can't just expect a huge push every time like in 16. It's just not going to happen. Everybody's going to have to find new plays. Like right here, I go up the middle. Some resistance right there. But sometimes you might get a good block, like right there, some little resistance, a blitzing linebacker. But right here, you get a clean block from your lineman and Latavius Murray, and you get a huge gain. So hopefully you stuck around to this end of, end of the video. Now, toss plays. Toss plays are good this year. I haven't tried out the strong, strong close toss play that everyone loved last year, but I have used the ones in the I formations. This is where you'll need your fast running backs because you'll get caught by 85 speed linebackers. There's a lot of fast linebackers in Madden this year. So you want to get to the outside with fast linebacker, with your fast running back. All right, that's the end of my running tutorial. If this helped you out or if you found a good running play, let me know in the comments. It's a new year. 
but it's still Madden. It's all about finding backs with fast speed, plays that work for you, your scheme, and how the defense is playing the line of scrimmage on that play. So show some love on that like button if you mess with the video. I might do a passing tutorial too, so be on the lookout for that. All right, I'm out. I'll check you guys in the next one.